work today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Me, Lloyd. No. Tell me you love me, Lloyd. No. Tell me you love me, Lloyd. No. Tell me you love me, Lloyd. No. Look, Lloyd, I know you love me because I can read your mind. So just say it, okay? If you can read my mind, read this. <gasps> I'm telling. Mommy! Lloyd's not a bad word! My Lloyd, your little sister certainly craves your affection. Yeah, almost as much as I'm craving some fun. What do you boys say we get out of this joint and head for the mall? Oh, boys! Yes. Good idea, Eddie. Hey, can you loan me a couple of crontars for a big lorp? Hey, don't look at me. I don't have a crontavo to my name. Let me see. I've got some blue stuff. <gasps> That's a part of me! Oh, once again, we are faced with the universal teen dilemma. No cash, no mall, no fun. <laughs> Lloyd, did you think a bad word to your sister? Yeah, but not the cute word. Oh, I've told you, Lloyd, please keep your thoughts to yourself. Now listen, I've got a lot of work to do. Do me a favor, take your sister to the park for a few hours. But Mom, it's Saturday, my one day of freedom, except for Sunday. Please don't make me do this. I'll pay you a crontar. Tell me you love me, Lloyd. No. Tell me you love me, Lloyd. No. Please tell me you love me. No. Tell me you love me, Ryle. I'll... Hey, look, it's your friend Bitsy. Bitsy, yeah. Hiya, Bitsy! Man, there's gotta be a better way to make a crontar. Yeah, but how? How indeed? Wow, Bitsy, meet Sam Station! Thanks, Francine. It's my bestest one ever and... <gasps> I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I saw you moving it with your brain powers. Brain powers? Moving? Oh, I suppose you mean like this. Huh? <laughs> you should not have done that. Hello, what's this? Crikey, put me down! Oh, no. I know how we can make some money. Oh, wait a sec. I'm not sure that's legal. Hey, how about if Francine gets flying lessons? Like she is that kid over there. Flying lessons? Francine! No! Francine, put that kid down! Okay. No! Oh, I'm telling! Francine, you're not supposed to use your powers to pick on kids. But he was using his powers to pick on us. Yeah, right. You know there are no other telekinetic kids on the station. That's what you think, mate. That's her, Windsor. That's the kid who flew me around and dropped me on me bum. So, picking on me chum binky here, right? Listen, buddy, we don't want any trouble. My little sister's got these powers she can't control, see? Yeah, and... I see. Because fact is, we've all got those powers. We're gifted students on a field trip to Planet Neuron. And we landed here to use the loo. Oh, no, she picked on me. Gee, that's a real drag. Well, it's been nice meeting you guys. Hope you find your buddy Lou. Not so fast. I'm going to teach your sister a lesson she'll never forget. Now, wait a minute. Let's not get carried away. She's just a little kid, and... Oh! oh. Ow! Joy me! Whoa! A... Hey, wait a minute! Back off! I never back down from a jolly good scrap. Come on, then. I've won Krontar Sterling says I can trounce the bird. Did you say a Krontar? My Krontar against your Krontar. Winner take all. Yeah, I got one, too. Oh, man, you want to bet me money that you could beat my little sister? You're on! But you can't! She's just a... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Francine, you're an animal! No shame in it, chaps! Run for the HMS school bus! Here, here! Francine, you beat all those guys! They we're all bigger than you! Forget that, man! She just made us three Krontars! All right, Francine! Right, 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 right. To the mall! Come on, Francine! I'll buy you a gumball! A gumball? Oh, boy! <laughs> mommy, Mommy! I'm a big hero! I got big ones for everyone, and now they love me! Your mother's not home yet, Francine, and... My, just look at your face! It's into the bathroom with you, young lady, for a zap of the ultrasonic cleanser. Who would have thought that Francine would actually come in handy for a change? Yeah, just this morning we had nothing to do, and now... Oh, I have nothing to do again! <sighs> yes, and once again we have Maria Crontar to our names. Hmm, 
Well, maybe Francine can help us get some more. What are you talking about, Eddie? If there's three kids who want to bet they can beat Francine, there's got to be more. You want her to fight more kids? She can't do that. She might get hurt. I'm not so certain, Lloyd. We all saw what quick work she made of those lads in the park. I imagine the only people getting hurt would be her opponents. She was pretty tough. Sure she was. The kid's a ringer. Now all we got to do is send out an email throughout the galaxy. We get nine, ten guys to show up, better meet your crontar, and bingo! We got big loops for a week! Dougie, get this down. Attention, psychic mind benders. Do you like blowing up junk with your brain waves? Do you like levitating your enemies? Well, have we got a contest for you. For the price of three. N no, five. No, ten Krontars. You can take on the defending champion and maybe win the grand prize money. Grand prize money? Every kid who shows up pays ten Krontars. We put it in a pot, Francine beats everybody, and we'll keep the whole thing. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Be there at the Intrepidville Coliseum. Level B, Hallway 7, Apartment 1619. Hey, that's my address. And you will have a chance to face off with the telekinetic champ of the universe. And her name is, uh, El Nino Diablo. Um, is that proper grammar? Bad grammar is scarier. Type. There, finished and spell checked. Should I send it, Lloyd? I don't know, guys. Come on, Lloyd. This scheme can't fail. What the heck? Send it. No one's gonna read the darn thing anyway. What was it? Hey, Lloyd, dude, any takers on our little email challenge? Eddie, it's 8.30 in the morning. Let me go back to sleep. Yeah, but... <sighs> <sighs> Who is this? Good morning, Lloyd. Any replies to our very special missive? Uh, call Eddie, he'll tell ya. Yes, but... <laughs> Oh, great. Now Kurt is knocking on the door. Kurt, go home. It's Sunday. It's morning. I'm tired. Nobody's going to show up. We're here to see El Nino Diablo. We want to destroy you. Hey, come on. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Pardon me. Down below. Coming through. Lloyd, it's us. Open up. Come on, come on, come on. Get in, get in. Oh, man, Eddie, this is insane. There's got to be a hundred telekinetic tough guys out there. Ain't it great? Man, with a crowd this size, we can make enough Krontars for a whole tanker full of big lorps. Indeed. We'll be Krontillionaires. We'll be so rich we can buy all the money we want. You guys are crazy. This whole crazy plan is crazy. If my mom finds out about this, she'll kill me. Finds out about what, Lloyd? Er, how much he respects and admires you, Mrs. N. Right. Look, Lloyd, I've got to get ready for work. Try to stay out of trouble for, I don't know, five minutes, okay? You got it, Mom. We want to fight, and we want to Come on, we got to get rid of those guys. Come on, Lloyd, that's money knocking. Let's get out there and cash in. Get out there and tell them what? Tell them what they want to hear. <laughs> uh, hello, one and all. Thank you for coming to the... Uh, the Thriller at Intrepid Villa. Uh, yeah, the Thriller at Intrepid Villa. I have heard enough of your childish rhymes. I am Brew. Where is this El Nina Diablo? El Nina is, uh, busy... Busy picking her teeth with some guy's bones, and she's not using her hands to do it either. Your graphic description makes me eager to destroy her. Bring her out here at once. Yeah. Well, uh... El Nina Diablo will meet you all in one hour on... The Asteroid of Pain. Where's that? Also known as the Abandoned Mine Asteroid, right off Inner Space 5. Be there, if you dare. Oh, dare, Brug does. Well done, fellows. You seem to have gotten rid of them. Yeah, but if we don't show up on that asteroid in an hour, those guys are not going to be happy. But we are going to show up, Lloyd, and we're going to make lots of money. All you got to do is convince Francine to be El Nino Diablo. And if she won't? Come on, she's your baby sister. What's she going to say? No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. Come on, Francine, it'll be fun. I can have fun with my dollies. We'll make you a pretty costume. I got lots of pretty costumes. Please, Francine, you got to do this. What do you want? Hmm, let's see. If I do it, will you tell me you love me? Yeah, sure, Francine. If you do it, I'll tell you I love you all you want. Oh, boy! Let's go, one and all, to a thriller and intrepid villa. This is Douglas Chet McNuggan. Beside me sits my color man, Dandy Kirk Roberts. Hi, I'm blue. Er, indeed. And now, here to explain the rules.
of today's contest is our referee, Eddie the Colonel Horton. Ah! Eddie is wearing a black and white shirt. Uh, Kurt, the color man doesn't necessarily report only on colors. Ooh. All right, listen up. Anybody who wants to take on El Nino Diablo has to pony up 100 Krontars. Incorrect. Prue's understanding is 10 Krontars. Yeah, well, the rules have changed. 100 Krontars is the price, all of which will be put in this pot. If any of you beat her, the entire pot is yours. Now, who's first? That would be Brook. I am Brook, and I will melt this so-called champion with my cerebrum. We have our first challenger. And now, ladies and gents, I give you the Brigadier of the Brainwaves, the VIP of ESP, El Nino Diablo! She's just a little girl. Oh, Here we go, champ. Are you ready? That depends, Lloyd. Do you love me? Of course I do, sis. Now get out there and kick some gray matter. Okay. Puny challenger. Brug laughs at your mask. Brug will destroy you with a single synapse from his massive mind. Oh, yeah? What? This is impossible. You can't do this to me. I am Brug. That's the easiest 100 Krontars we ever made. I'm telling you. Who else is brave enough to take on El Nino Diablo? No amount of money is worth this. Lloyd, man, look at this cash. Sweet mother of muff time. We're rich. Lloyd, all this brainwave and stuff is starting to make me feel kind of tired. You can't stop now, Francine. Just listen to them out there. They love you. But especially you, right? Absolutely. I love you, Francine. Now get out there and win us some more money. <sighs> okay. Who's next? I am Copperzoid, the greatest magician in the galaxy! Yeah, yeah. Hit me with your best trick. And now you are magically doomed! <laughs> Dang. Oops. <laughs> this whole thing off. What? Look at her. She's exhausted. Brain wavers of the galaxy, can I have your attention? The Thrilla and Intrepid Villa is officially over. What? I'm the most recent challenger, so the money is mine. Oh, wait a minute, Orange Dude. You didn't fight the champ, so you don't get nothing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's Mr. Golden Sunshine, come to sprinkle us with fun! No creature, you are mistaken. I am Orbulus. Oh, is it Orbulus? I am the collective consciousness of infinite space. The convergence of thought and energy. The most psychically powerful entity in the entire universe. I got your email. I am here to fight. Uh, sorry, but maybe you heard the announcement? The fight's kind of over? That is unacceptable. I have transported myself 50 million light years to take on this so-called champion. Yeah, uh, I understand if you're disappointed, but really, El Nina is finished for the day. What are you gonna do? Very well. If she will not fight, then what I will do 
is destroy you all. This is a black day indeed. Um, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh man, I never expected some ultra powerful guy to come along and threaten to destroy us. What are we gonna do? Don't ask me. My specialty is making money, not escaping doom. I think he's bluffing. Look at him. He's yellow. Blue creature, you doubt my powers? Let no one doubt my powers. Time to disappear. Enough talking, creatures. Produce the champion now, or else. Looks like we've got no choice. We have to wake up Francine. Francine! Francine! Hey, get off! Eddie, come on! Leave her alone! We need her, man! She's just a little kid, and she's really, really tired. Please, Mommy. Not time for school. If we try to make her fight now, I think we could really hurt her brain. I'm not going to let my little sister's brain get messed up forever just because we got ourselves into a jam. Well, I hope you can find another way out of this jam, because the way I see it, somebody's got to fight him. You're right, Eddie. Somebody does. Orbulus? Yes, creature? Give us five minutes, please, to prepare the champion, and then you'll have your match. Very well. In this corner, we have Orbulus, the greatest mental power in the universe. And in this corner, we have El Nino Diablo! Well, Dandy Kurt, El Nino Diablo is certainly, uh... The kid who's gonna get hurt, and I'll have to describe his orange blood! Her orange blood, Kurt. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Lloyd is secretly pretending to be Francine. Well, buddy, here we go. You sure you know what you're doing? He doesn't know what the champion looks like. All I gotta do is go out there, act tough, let him beat me, and he'll go away thinking he's the champ. It's a crazy plan, man. So, you are El Nino Diablo. That's my name, mister. Don't wear it out. An opponent worthy of my awesome power, eh? Your power is crummy, mister, so I'm gonna start beating you right now. Hmm, very well. But the battle commits. Ha! Ha! That's too much for me. I guess you win. Congratulations. You sure are a worthy opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, the new intergalactic telekinetic champion, Orbulus! Foolish creatures. There seems to be some misunderstanding. The brutality has just begun. But you beat me. All those shiny Krontars are yours. I have no need for Krontars, Boy Nebulon. <gasps> Void, he knows it's you. Quiet, Eddie. Ah! Of course I know who you are. Your hairbrain scheme amused me, but now I am bored. It is time to finish you off. Oh, hey! Please, Mr. Orb, we were just goofing around. I was just trying- Whoa! Whoa, 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 This is a disaster! A disaster, I say! Hey, what's going on? Francine fell asleep and a big orb showed up to fight her. But Lloyd was so worried about Francine's brain getting hurt, he wouldn't let anybody wake her up. He wouldn't? No, so now he's going to get ripped to pieces instead. He's doing that for me? Not for you. He's doing it for... Francine! You're awake! Quick, use your brain to save Lloyd before it's too late! Uh, I can't. It's all weird out. It needs more rest. Oh, woe is me! What will save us now? I said, put him down! Very well. Mommy, Mommy, you're here! Hooray! What are you doing here, Mom? I was barraged by complaints from two dozen telekinetic creatures saying that you invited an unbeatable force to some sort of psychic showdown? Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of did. Your conversation is finished. Now, all of you, prepare to meet your doom. Before you destroy us, Orbulus, I think you better know I've already called somebody who really wants to talk to you. Orbit! Uh-oh. Orbit, what do you think you're doing? Nothing, Mom. Orbit? Mom? Were you picking on these children? Well, I... Uh... Uh, I'm sorry this happened, Mrs. Nebulon. I didn't even realize he had left the yard. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Throbbing Energy Source. Kids will be kids. Come along, Orbert. Just wait till your father gets home. He's going to ground you for a millennium. Ah, <sighs> uh, thanks for saving me, Mom. You're much nicer than that other Mom. I mean, after everything that happened here, you would never ground me. 
Would you? Oh, no, Lloyd. Don't worry. I won't ground you. I can't believe it. Stupid, lousy, crummy. Hi, Lloyd. How's your punishment going? Oh, all right. I figure I've only got about 7,369 windows to go. I'm sorry Mommy made you do this. And made you give back all them crontars. That's okay. I kind of deserve it. I mean, it was a pretty crummy thing I did to you. I can't go telling you I love you just to get you to do stuff for me. And you shouldn't go doing stuff for people just to hear them tell you that. Yeah, you were being pretty crummy. But you know what? All those times you said you loved me, I could tell anyway you really meant it. How's that? When you let that big ball guy almost crunch you up just to protect me? I think he couldn't have said it any more clearer than that. Here, let me help you. Hey, thanks, Francine. It's nothing. You know what? I get a feeling you love me too. Maybe. Come on, just say it. Tell me you love me. No. Please, Francine, tell me you love me. No. Tell me you love me, Francine. Um... <laughs>